Hello guys, today I will be showing how to create a virtual secure environment. So right over here we have a network. This is composed in the LAN side in which clients have to operate on those machines on a daily basis in a average work environment. So we have PFSense here which is the router. It has two subnets, one with 192.168 and the other one with 10.0.0. We also have the Windows server over here. So this will act as the AD, Active Directory. It will connect with the two machines over here, which is Windows 7 Ultimate and Ubuntu. Now this network is on the LAN side, like I said. So this is not, this is fully protected behind a firewall which I will show you later on a network topology diagram, which will basically give you the basic idea of how it looks like. So over here is the DMZ, which is the demilitarized zone. And this is composed of a machine, which is a web server and a file server, Ubuntu. And also a Kali Linux machine, which is used for testing purposes just to see whether in the event one of these machines get compromised, they won't have access to the network, the LAN side, because that's the purpose of a DMZ. It is, it's basically opening all ports and once hackers get in, hopefully they don't, but if they do get in, they won't have access to the network because the firewall will basically prohibit it from accessing. It can only go through the WAN because it needs that in order to access the internet, but it won't have access to the clients. So now let's take a look at a, a diagram that illustrates the network and the DMZ side. So here we have the network topology, which is has two machines here, two client machines. One is Ubuntu and one is Windows 7. And we also have a Windows 2012 server, which acts as the Active Directory and hands off DNS to these two machines. So these three are connected internally via the LAN network, which is 192.168.1. whatever the number is here. So 31 for Ubuntu, 32 for Windows 7, 20 for Windows 2012. And this LAN network connects with the router here, the PFSense router, through a firewall. It has to go through the firewall. You have to enable the ports in order to access the internet. So HTTP and HTTPS. You have to enable those two in order to access the cloud network. You also have to enable FTP and SSH in order to access using FTP servers on the Windows server here. On the DMZ side here, it is connected with a web file server, which is Ubuntu server, and also a pen test server, which is Kali Linux. So this is a separate kind of subnet with 10.0.0. whatever the number here. And in order to configure DMZ, we have to add a third interface in order for it to connect to the internet as well. And the main thing about DMZ is that it won't be able to connect to any of the machines here on the LAN side. Because in the event where one of these two machines get compromised, it won't have that much of a negative effect on the internal network. It will probably affect all the DMZ machines, but at least the firewall is protecting the the LAN side. So the main thing is of course the router PFSense, which enables and disables firewall rules so that DMZ and LAN are separately attached from each other. And in order to configure PFSense, you have to access the website and download the operating system and then install it into VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and do that right now.